Hey friends, I love my plant, but sometimes I forget to water it. As a maker, I thought, I really need to find a solution for this. So I decided to design a self-watering smart planter. At the bottom, there is a water tank, above that a soil container, and on top an electronics enclosure. All of them are connected with a vertical support piece that also hides cables and hoses. My biggest helper in this process was the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo 3D printer. Swapping Hodens is quick and easy. The magnetic build plate snaps in and out. The build volume is just right. And with AMS, I can print with four different filaments at once. From loading filament to defining materials on the touchscreen and doing automatic bed leveling, everything just works smoothly. Thanks to the A1 combo, I could bring this design to life. So big thanks to Bamboo Lab for supporting this project. If you want to explore my 3D models and also learn more about Bamboo Lab printers, you can find the links in the description. The prints came out strong and reliable. Still, to make sure the water tank is fully sealed, I applied a thin layer of epoxy resin inside it. The tank needs to dry for 24 hours, so while it cures, let's continue with the assembly. First, I attach the soil container to the vertical support using M3 screws and nuts. This makes the structure solid and stable. Then I carefully move the plant into its new container, add some extra soil to support the roots, and the planting is complete. Before adding the electronics, I install the NeoPixel ring LED. After that, the electronics enclosure is fixed to the vertical support with screws. With the main parts together, I add a decorative frame around the electronics enclosure. Its mosaic-like pattern makes the whole build cleaner and more stylish. Next comes the spray nozzle. It has two modes, a tight pressurized jet for direct watering or a softer spray that creates a gentle rainfall effect over the whole plant. This way watering is both effective and elegant. You can find links to all the components and tools I used in the description. Finally, I mount the water pump inside the electronics enclosure and secure it with screws. I measure and cut the hose for the nozzle, tighten it with a cable tie so it stays in place, and guide the inlet hose through the channel and the vertical support down into the water tank. Now the water system is fully connected, now it is time to make this project smart. On the breadboard, I am using a WUMOS D1 mini Wi-Fi board, together with a voltage regulator and a MOSFET to drive the pump. For water level detection, I added a simple analog sensor, extended with jumper wires. If you would like to see the full schematic and more details, check the description below. To power the system, I connect a 12 volt adapter cable through the channel into the electronics enclosure, then I place the breadboard inside and complete the connections for the water sensor, the LED, the motor, and power. Finally, I close the top cover of the enclosure and secure it with screws. By now, the water tank is fully cured and ready to use. I also added a decorative frame inside it. All the other parts are carefully placed on top while the water sensor and pump hose are positioned inside. At this point, the entire structure comes together as one complete build. For the control side, I created a simple app using a free drag and drop tool. It shows the water level, controls the LED, lets me set pump schedules, and even allows manual start and stop for watering. Here you can see the water level feature in action. As I pour water into the tank, the app updates in real time. At first the readings can fluctuate, so waiting for a short moment gives a more stable level. The app can also schedule automatic watering. I set it to run one minute later, and the pump starts right on time. I can also trigger the pump manually just to test it instantly. And of course I can change the LED colors directly from the app. Finally, let's take a look at some close-up shots of the system in action. The nozzle sprays in both modes, a direct jet and a gentle rain-like mist. The LED lights add some atmosphere and the plant is kept healthy automatically. This project would not have been possible without the support of Bamboo Lab. Thanks to the A1 combo printer, all the designs came together beautifully. You can find everything in the description, including the 3D models. What do you think about this project? Should I take it even further? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thank you so much for watching.